Hello, this is Nagi Nagi 101 here. Okay, I decided to do this video because I've really read through what I wrote in Catharsis video, and I needed to reiterate a few things in my stance. I am a Taoist furry. I am a furry, but I am not one of those types of furries. Um, let me tell you a little bit about what I am. Okay, I am. I am Taoist by nature. I believe in nature. I believe in natural state of things, but I don't believe in pedophilia. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in porn. I don't like porn. I have sex with my boyfriend, but that's about as close as I get. Um, I do not like anyone showing me overly sexualized animals, anthropomorphic animals whatsoever. I, uh, okay. I actually got grossed out when somebody sent me porn of Redwall. Okay. I got really grossed out. And I blocked the person. <laughs> Literally, I blocked her because she was being a very facetious and nasty person. And I didn't like being told I was being... Not, as a furry, I am gross. Okay? So, I'm going to show you this. Uh, these are my badges. I only have three. Okay? Alright? I barely tolerated this one. And the artist who did this, I absolutely love. Wonderlust is a great... Kite Wonderlust is awesome. This was a gift from a friend. In fact, I don't talk to her anymore. For good reason. This was... Uh, one of the things I did with this one is I commissioned the artwork. She sent it to me. In exchange, I did the lamination myself. I have a laminator. You can tell that I laminated it because, well... It's kind of seen better years. But as you can see, that's me. I'm Rippy. I, I don't do anything more than that. I mean, I attend these kind of conventions, okay? I attend that. I attend this. Okay? I attend science fiction and fantasy conventions. I really have, like, literally... There. I literally don't go to furry events because I absolutely don't like them. All right? The last furry convention I went to was Rocky Mountain Fur Con back in uh, 2009. And I have to consult a, dot, a goddamn badge. Oh, here's my uh, other... That's my really bad art. <laughs> okay? And this was uh, a makeshift version of my fursona. Before I realized that's a hyena, not my um, actual fursona. Which, like, really, I absolutely don't like Helsing. That's like the one anime I will not touch with a ten-foot pole. But here's the thing with me. And this is what actually got me thinking about it. What do I actually stand for as a furry? Okay, um, Taoism. I study Taoism. I study Confucianism. I love to read. Fantasy and science fiction. Do I like... Do I like other stuff? Yeah, I love I love to read. I love to war. I can draw. I'm not very good at it, mind you. But I can draw. I like... Um, I like Unico, which is a, a children's thing I watched as a child. I actually got finally got DVD DVDs of it. Did it freak me out as a kid? Oh hell yeah! I mean it. It scared the ever living hell out of me. But what I really am irritated with is when people tell me to go kill myself because I'm a furry. Okay. Here is the picture I stare at when people tell me that. You know who this is? This is Kurtz. Kurtz Weber, my kitten. He is no longer with us. He died because a coyote got to him. And he was staying with my mother. Sorry, I had to drink something. But here's the thing, though. Just because I'm a furry does not mean I'm into porn, okay? I really don't like porn. I actually hate it. Um. All right. I love Redwall, okay? This is one of my favorite books. Tagrin. If it wasn't for Redwall, I would never 
and I would never have met my friend Gwen. And my, Gw my friend Gwen would never have introduced me to Arrows of the Queen by Mercedes Lackey. Um, if it wasn't for Redwall, I wouldn't be reading Anne Rice. Um, if it wasn't for Redwall, I wouldn't be into, um, uh, where is it? I would rather pick something that doesn't, okay. I would be into this. Scott Beckham. He's an independent author. I love indie authors. If it wasn't for Redwall, I would never have found indie authors. If it wasn't for another series I like, uh, Forever Night, I wouldn't be into this. This is a vampire novel. If it wasn't for, uh, Forever Night, I wouldn't be into, um, Anne Rice. Again, it all wraps around somehow. But what really gets to me is when people tell me to go kill myself because I'm a furry. Let me tell you something about um, what it feels like to be told to kill yourself. Imagine being six years old and uh, you just get diagnosed with a learning disability. What does my learning disability look like? Oh, let me tell you. I can read any book you can give me. Any story. And at the time, I actually could not parrot it back. Imagine being... Unable to tell your best friend. Oh, I loved this story. It's about... And then it suddenly... It's not in your brain anymore. You're just like... Did I really read that? That was the biggest problem for me. When I got into Taoism... When I was in uh, college... I learned how to focus. And learned very quickly how to focus. And learned everything I could. Another thing that I learned... And how to focus as well... Is I got into Buddhism. From Buddhism, I got into Confucianism. From there, I learned how to focus my mind and actually regurgitate what I had just read. Because it wasn't about regurgitation. It was about remembering what it stands for. So, when I do my Taoist furry stuff on this channel, yes, it's about gaming. How does it relate to gaming? Let me tell you. I have a hard time focusing on anything. And it's not because I have ADD or ADHD. It's because a, a systematic breakdown of my mind is in effect. When I was learning disabled as a child, I was told by the time I was 14, my brain would be mush. By the time I was 19 years old and I was ready to get out of college or get ready to go to college, I got told, oh no, you're not going to a college when you graduate, you're going to a mental institution because that's expected. Fuck that. My mother heard my comment. And my and of course, um, I got told, oh, you can't use that language in this class. Um, oh, here you go. Here's a language you do should know. Um, and I wish I had done it to my teacher sooner. Because I really wish I should have done it to her sooner. And it is basically telling the teacher, oh, really? I can't learn. Hmm. Well, it goes to show how much, um, it kind of goes to show how much they did not know, did not actually educate me on anything. And I had to actually go in and learn myself what it means to be um, here it is. From book four. Section nine. The master said, those scholar apprentices who have set their purpose on walking the way are ashamed of rude clothing and coarse food are not worth engaging in discussion. All right. Continuing on to ten. The master said, exemplary persons in making their way in the world are neither bent on nor against anything rather they go with what is appropriate and 11 exemplary persons cherish their excellence petty persons cherish their land exemplary persons cherish fairness petty persons cherish the thought of gain To act with an eye 
to personal profit will incur a lot of resentment. And that's 12. I read book nine, book four, sections nine through 12. And this is what I learned on my own that I wish I should have just regurgitated back at my teacher. Because I believed in my own education, in my own simple and non-petty way. And what I really learned from it was this. Life itself is about a lot of fucked up things. And one of the most fucked up things was me walking into the fur fandom trying to find a friend. And I found some. Some of them are not into porn. Some of them are not into sex. Oh, half of them will think that what's going on in the fandom at present is atrocious. But do they say anything? They can't. And the reason why? It has nothing to do with the fact that they're popular. It has nothing to do with that. It's the fact that the fandom already knows. And they already condone it. So before anyone posts on this page about how fucked up I am about this, um, let me remind you that I walk a very different path than you. And my path says, well, you know what? I went, I tried, I failed. And I walked out of the fandom because the person that I cared about the most was hurt the most by it. And that was my fiancé. He never left, a fa he never once left the fandom. But he doesn't say anything about it because he doesn't want to get hurt anymore. And that man walks into my life when I needed him most. And my fiancé is the most brilliant, beautiful person I've ever met. And I love him. And I love him more than anything in the world. And I can show you his picture. He may not be the perfect man. He may not be anything grand or perfect in my eyes. He is. He is the most perfect person in the world for me. He doesn't look perfect. <laughs> Hardly he isn't. Um, his He has a skin rash that's worse than anything. He, he swears. He used to smoke, but... <laughs> But after I told him it smell, made him smell like an ashtray, he stopped. But the thing is, he is the reason I stayed in the fandom as long as I have. If Lee, if Lee, my fiancé, his real, his persona's name is Larry Narseth, if he asked me, would you walk with me out of the fandom? My tails are up in the air and I'm walking with him. I'll walk right out the door and say, fuck this shit. Because I will. Because that's how much I respect him. People think, oh, it's Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> oh, no, it's, part it's not that. No. I stayed in the fur fandom because of him. If I had seen half the shit that was going on and I was single, <laughs> you'd guess uh, bottles to the bottles, bottles up. I'd be out the door. But I'm not. And it has nothing to do with the sex. It has nothing to do with that. Some of it has to do with the fact I like the artwork. I wish I had an example to show you. I absolutely love Furlough. Furlough was a magazine I read when I was a teenager. It was a comic book. And I also read Albedo. I read Osagi Yojimbo. I read those as a kid. They were black and white and they were kind of cool. But... The thing was, those were for me. To me, it was really good art. But what people didn't realize is, um, none of that was sexual. None of it. All of it was artwork to me. And that's the one thing that most furries forget, is I'm not into art. I'm not into, well, I'm into art, but I'm not into the fandom for porn, sex, things like that. You know why? I find it repugnant. I am one of those furries that actually doesn't like porn. I am one of those furries that actually hates it when your friends show you fucking porn on their computer and you're going, that's really gross, Ken. Mm. I had a friend in Japan, a friend in Japan who showed me porn, showed me furry porn, and I wanted to jump I wanted to hit him upside the head with a baseball bat because I said, that's not what I did too. Okay? 
I'm into stuff that's cute and fuzzy. I mean, honestly, I I went to hell and high water to find something that is actually legitimate to me. This. There, you got it. Now you got what the Taoist fur is about. I'm not into porn. I'm not into that. Okay? I will vent about that and tell you it's not me. Because for me, I like to do I like to go outside and read books. I mean, here. Number fifty or six from the Tao Te Ching. The Valley Spirit never never dies. It's called called the mysterious female. The gate of the mysterious female is called the root of heaven and earth. Gossamer it is, seemingly insubstantial, yet never consumed through me or through use. Hello, I walk through that every day. I look at life like that. If it bugs you, yes, I understand it bugs people, but I'm a furry that doesn't like porn. I don't like... Hell, I don't even understand who Kuro is, and yet somebody had to actually tell me who he is. I am not that kind of furry, okay? It is not my nature, and I don't defend people. I told him to ignore people because people can be cruel and mean and attack people. Okay? I've been attacked all my life as a kid, but never like this. All right? I'm backed into a corner, and I'm going to say something that is going to make people pissed. I am a furry, but I am not one of those furries. I don't condone porn. I don't condone um, pedophilia. I do not condone screwing animals. What I do condone is an actual research. Hello. Fictional stories. I mean, hello. Here's that. So there you go. That's me. In a nutshell, I am not going to go any further than that. So, anyone who attacks me because of my posts on Catharxis' page, go right ahead. Um, just so you know, I blocked already a couple people who made dummy accounts anyway. So, talk to you later.